In this video, we are going to see how to sort basically for numbers, text, dates and multi-column sorting. Also, we'll be seeing how to go for color sort. Let's see those one by one. If you see on the screen, I have some numbers, text, dates, everything. For first thing is, if you see there's time given here, which is in minutes, that is 2.5, 3.4, 4.5. Now, if I want to sort into ascending or descending order, basically, if it is a number, it will go for smallest to largest. The method to sort is very easy. Now, you have to just keep your cursor in the cell in which you want to sort that column. Next is in the home tab, on the right hand side, if you see, there's sort and filter. So I'll just select here, sort smallest to largest. So once I click on that smallest largest, you can see the entire column is sorted. So no need of selecting the entire column and then sorting out. Similarly, if you see the next place, I have some currency given here, which is 2562, that is the sales done. If I want to sort in the descending order, I'll just keep my cursor in the cell, in the column which I want to sort. Next is in the home tab, I'll go to sort and filter and select the same thing, sort largest to smallest. So once I click on this option, you see the entire column is sorted descending order. Similarly, there's one more example. If I have two columns and if I want to sort the second column that is the sales done in the descending order. If you see carefully, this is in the ascending order. I want to sort in the descending order. So if what if I sort it in the descending order, will it leave the relation with the next column? Let's see how we can do it. I have purposely colored this Rita row with this yellow color so that when I sort it, I should be able to understand whether it is leaving the relation with this column. So let's see that. I'll keep my cursor in the sales then column and I'll go to home tab, click on sort and filter and now I'll go for descending order that is largest to smallest. So once I click on that, if you see the 5254 currency is still with the same sales rep that is Rita so that the, it is not leaving the relation with the other column. So this way you can do it easily. No need of selecting the entire data and then going for sort. Next is, I have some dates given on the screen if you see. 13 July, 14 July, 15 July, again 13, 14, 15. Now, how do I sort the dates? Same way, keep your cursor in the column in which you want to sort. Go to home tab and then you can go for filter and sort and then you can select the sort all day, oldest to newest. So once you click on oldest to newest, you can see this dates are older and the other dates are newer dates. This way you can go for one column sorting. Let's see some more advanced sorting, how it can be done. I have some data given here. If you see salesman and sales done, same data. Now I don't want with respect to the numbers that is oldest to newest, largest to smallest, but now I want to sort the column with respect to the color. So if you see carefully on the screen, I have some blue color, re red color, yellow color and green color. What if I want to get the sorting based on color wise? So that time I have to go for advanced sort. Let's see those how we can go. If you want to go for advanced sort, the method is you have to go to the data tab and you can see there's a sort button. So once you click on this sort button, you'll get this dialog box. In this dialog box, you'll get all the column names. If you see the column name is salesman and sales done. So my criteria is in the sales done column. So from here, I'll select this sort by which column I want for sales done. Next is, do you want to sort based on values or do you want to sort based on some other option? So I'll say as I want to sort based on sale color. So sell color is right now, there's sell no color. So I'll select some color. I have four colors given here. So I want to sort it. I want yellow color on top. So once I click on OK, my column will be sorted based on the color. Yellow color will, all, will be on the top. So let's see now. Once I click on OK, so if you see yellow color is on top. Now you might be wondering why only yellow color? What about the other colors? So for other colors, you have to give the other color conditions. Let's see that. So I'll keep my cursor in this place. Go to sort and add a level. So when I add a level, I'll say him, I want to do a sorting for sales done. If you see the first preference is given for sort by sales done and then buy. So then buy again, I'll say sell color. I'll select here red color on top. So after yellow color, it will go for red color. Similarly, if I add level that is sales done based on cell color and the cell color that is blue should be on top. So yellow, red and blue 
Once I click on OK, you see this yellow, red and blue. These have been sorted accordingly. So that is what you call advanced sort based on color. Since this was based on cell color, similarly you can do for font color also. That is same way. No other difference in this. Let's see if the next one. Now this is multi column sorting. Right now what we have seen was only for one column sorting. Let's go for the advanced one, multi column sorting. Right now I have some data given here. That is date, racetrack, racer, age and time. Now what is the requirement is I want to sort times with racer column that is the time column with racer column that is the race track sorry race column. So what should be the major sort I will give a first preference to racer column second preference to this time column. So for your understanding I have written here major sort racer so first preference to racer. So I will just keep my cursor in the column or in the data anywhere so no need of selecting the entire data and I will just go to data tab and I'll click on this sort. Once I click on sort and if I click on sort by you see these are the names of the columns. So what are the names of the columns date racetrack uh, racer age. So my preference should go for racer because my major sort is racer. Next what I'll do is I'll go for values that is I'll select as A to Z. So I want this racer to be sorted ascending order. So once I click on OK yeah racer Again, I'll click on add level. Next add level, I have to give sort times with racer column. So second is sort times. So I'll select the option here as time. And again, I select as values as smallest to largest. And I'll click on OK. So two levels that is first is racer and second is time. So once I click on OK. Now if you see carefully, this column is sorted. I'll just take an example that is Logan. Three Logan have come here altogether, and the second preference was given to time. So if you see, it is sorted in the ascending order 39, 45, 50.9, right? So two columns have been sorted. First is this one, and second is this one. So when there's a tie up between these numbers or text, it will go for the second preference. I hope you are getting this point. Next one, we have a similar example that was racer with time. That means a text with a number. Next, we have text with a text. So let's see how we can go. The second criteria I have that is sales rep with region. So this is the column of the sales rep and the next I have something here region. These are the two columns. So I want to sort region versus sales rep. The major preference I'll give to region. I'll keep my cursor anywhere in the data and then I'll go to sort data tab sort. So in this data tab sort I'll select the option as sort by the major sort is region so I'll give the first preference to region and I'll select as values A to Z. So values A to Z. Second preference is been given to sales rep. I'll say as add level. So after this add level I'll select here sales rep values A to Z. So let's see now what it happens. I'll click on OK. Now if you see carefully it is sorted A to Z that is M Midwest and let's see that second one. If I have something, there are many more data here. Yeah, so after Midwest, they have given us N, North. So now for the Midwest, when there's a tie up, what is happening is if you see here for Midwest, yeah, alphabetical order. So if you see carefully, here it is C, that is the sales rep, and again, if I, it goes to G, J. So it is also sorted ascending to descending order. Same way the first column for region and second column for sales rep. So this way you can sort for multiple columns in the same data itself. That is the advanced sort. So I hope you are getting this point. That's all for this video.